Hey guys, well, just a couple of weeks ago, we went 29-1 on the channel. We have now gone 30-0, all live streamed over on the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash TV. All right, link is in the description. It was chaos. It was absolutely chaos. Our 29th game went all the way through extra time. It was drama. One of the best goals I think I've ever scored on FIFA in the 30th game in uh, two and a half minutes in. It was, it was chaos. It was chaos. However, however, I'm here to talk about the tactics. I'm here to talk about how we did it, what helped us get there. I think it's important to talk about how in those absolute crunch matches, those matches that just feel like they're not going your way, how we got through those and how we ended up going 30-0. First of all, let's just show like proof. You got to, I got to show the proof. If I don't show the proof, then I am a fraud. Uh, I am a fraud. We'll head on over to here. Uh, we scroll up. We just keep, we just keep scrolling. We keep scrolling. I think we, last time we checked, we were about 55. 59th, we finished 59th in the world, uh, which is absolutely unreal. I'm so, so happy with that effort. Uh, in the region, uh, we finished we finished 5th in the region. Four other people went 30-0 uh, and 0 as well. However, we did ours on stream, and I'm uh, really proud, really proud of the effort. Uh, the chat was so positive. They kept my head screwed on and they got me through those 30 games all right it was it was chaos i might upload the last two games up to the channel so if you guys would like that please let me know in the comments like if you guys would like to see those last two games i can just upload it i can edit them and just kind of upload them to the channel let me know in the comments below let's talk about the squad let's 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 talk about the squad the tactics this is the starting squad this is the one. This is this is the team that got us there. I would like to massive shout outs, massive shout outs. Didier Drogba, the man, massive shout out to Didier Drogba here. He is an animal. 143 games, all in foot champs. I don't play rivals. I don't play squad battles. 200 goals, 76 assists. Shout out to Sergio Ramos for getting his first ever assist for the club in the most clutchest of games and moments. And of course, St. Maxim getting his first ever goal for the club in the 111th minute of the 29th game. It was hectic, that's what I'm saying. If you guys want to see the last two games, I'll put them on the YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below. This is how we start. Now, obviously, very, very simply, we change formation. We go into a 4-2-3-1. Defensive, 4 width, 5 depth, fast build up. Width is a little bit wider on the offense because I play the 4-2-3-1 narrow. So I want my cams to sort of separate. I think that's important. I want them to sort of separate a little bit. The players in the box low, corners and free kicks low. You just don't need to you don't need to be in a dangerous position for a counter-attack. You just don't want to set yourselves up that way. Look at the team now. Drogba up top, Hazard in the middle, Neymar on the left, and Messi on the right. De Jong. Kante, Mendy Varane, Ramos, Semedo, and then finishing off with Testegan, who made some absolutely clutch saves as well this weekend. Now, people will say to me, why isn't Neymar cam? What I like to do, and this is true, what I like to do is if I'm in a bit of a tight game and we're sort of carrying to the 67th minute and nothing's really happened, I'll actually move that front three around. I'll put Neymar to cam and Hazard out wide. I might put Messi in cam, swap Hazard to the right. It's a very, yeah, it's a very fluid three cams, and I and I like to mix that up. I think it's really important. Uh, the roles realistically doesn't matter. Messi takes most of my frees, though. Uh, absolute freak. Scored a free in the last game as well. It was a ripper. Overall, again, stay central. Nothing changing for those. And just to stay central and balanced. Uh, nothing there. Again, balanced across here. Balanced across here for Hazard. Neymar getting in the box of the cross. Messi getting in the box of the cross. But uh, still, basic defensive support. They do come back every now and then to help out. Kante is cut passing lanes. Cover wing. Cover the wing. And De Jong is also cut passing lanes. Cover the wing. Balanced attack for both of those. However, if you notice your opponent is really getting you down the middle with the one-twos, uh, change that. Change that. Tell Kante or your Diong or whoever it is to stay back, cover center. Cut passing lanes. 
stay back cover center, and stay back while attacking. Cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center. That will assure that your two DMs will sit in the middle and try and block any of those one throughs. Highly recommend that right there. Really recommend that as a look. However, I start my games in this position. In this position, cut passing lanes, balance, cover wing. Both sides cover wing. For me, cover wing is more important, at least in the beginning, than, say, about halfway through a game. I might move them more centrally. Mendy and Tomato, a stay back while attacking. Ramos and Varane, a stay back. And to stay in balance, balance, I don't change that at all. Now, if you're wondering what I do when I'm behind, which we were in a couple of games, specifically in the 29th game, we really had to go for it. We tried. We had to do everything we can this is what we did. Pressure on heavy touch, four width, four depth, fast build up, uh, five width, five players in box, three corners, and three free kicks. So pushing more numbers forward. For me, though, it's the, it's the formation here. Now, you might be wondering, why do you have Neymar or potentially Messi, depending on what I do, or Hazard in game, I move them around. Why do I have sort of the three mids, one of them being an attacker? Because what I do in my instructions is right here, get forward, get into the box, free roam, cover center. I'm essentially having them as an extra cam that start deep, but they move right forward. Think of it as a Lampard type deal. A Lampard making his late run in to the box. That is kind of what that middle CM is, and that's what Neymar, it's usually Neymar, it's usually Hazard, uh, if we're going, if we go down early, we swap to this, however, in our games, as the games went on, and the later they went into the, into the game, I put St. Maximum into that mid, middle role, and, and again, that's where he got that, he scored that clutch goal, clutch goal for us, again, though, uh, balanced, balance on my wide back, so, look, let's be real, the counter-attack is there. However, you have to trust in yourself and your defensive ability to think, geez, I reckon I could score with my four attackers flying into the box, looking for one-twos, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're looking to seal up a game, and I, I haven't really talked about this a lot, but sealing up a game is actually not that hard in terms of just stopping your players from going to fast build-up. Head over to balanced. Head on over balanced. Seal that up, right? Then you want to go over... Now, I don't change formation. Absolutely not. But what I do is, is I say, all right, Drogba, stay central. Give me that false nine. So it brings my striker a little bit shorter, which means he is available for the pass, but creates space in behind for your, your Neymars, the Messis, the Hazards to get in behind, which means that you are on the counter. You are deadlier on the counter, which... When you're getting later into games, you're winning 3-2 or 3-1, but your opponent's pressing, you can get that counterattack and you can get that free goal as your opponent pushes forward. Now, with the CDMs, again, with the CDMs, it's cut passing lanes, it's stay back, it's cover center. That's the most important things with your CDMs if you want to stay in this formation. And of course, stay back while attacking. Those are my defensive tactics. Again, it's not a... It's not a one-size-fits-all. However, I think it'll be a massive improvement if you guys are struggling to finish off games. That right there is a really, really good opportunity. That right there is a really, really good tactic to help with that, creating good counter-attacking opportunities while also, also uh, making sure you're more solid in defense. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see game 29 and 30 on the channel i'll gladly upload those which i think would be really cool and if you like the content make sure you subscribe as well and i will see you guys next time peace